Hi, this is Cody Krasicki with FacebookandMarketing.com. Today we're going to install Stripe, which is a plugin for Magento that uh, it's actually a payment processor like PayPal and eBay, but they're quick to start up with um, and they're easy to use uh, for anybody, especially you if you're using Magento. What we'll do here is we'll go to System. Magento Connect. The whole purpose of doing this is to make it so you can get paid and you can take orders uh, if you're using Stripe. We'll go here to search for modules via Magento Connect. And we'll click this. Open it in a new window. You can right click it and hit it. Open a new tab. Open a new window. Open it in a new tab actually. Ours is right here. Um, if you're not a member, you need to sign up before you go to this next step. If you're already signed up with Magento Connect, go ahead and type in Stripe and hit search. And choose Stripe. This is what we're going to choose. You're going to go ahead and click the name right here. It's free, as you can see right here. <laughs> and wait for it to load up. And the next thing we want to do is, is we just want to hit install now. Right here where it says get extension key, we'll click that. But first we have to hit I agree the extension key license agreement. I've already read it, but you should read it. Go ahead and get extension. Hit this button right here, select key, copy it to your clipboard, control C if you're on a Windows computer, command C if you're on a Macintosh computer, and then what you want to do is you want to go back over here to your downloader. Keep this page open because then you'll go to return to admin, and then we'll go back here to system, and we'll go to connection manager. Back to this page, we'll go to step two and paste the extension key to install. And then we'll look here at extension dependencies and we'll see that the package is right here. And we'll hit proceed. And this little box right here will pop up and run the installation. Once it says procedure completed, go ahead and hit refresh. And now it's good to go. How do you check if it's good to go? We go to return to admin. This is also how you need to configure it. You go to system, you go to configuration. and then you're going to want to scroll down and then you're going to go to payment methods wait for that to load you have all these different choices but we're going to choose stripe you want to enable it your store name just type whatever your business name is and then the API key watch the next video and uh, you'll see how to do that or you know let's just do it real quick we got 30 seconds left you go here to sign in try to make it 28 seconds 24 seconds all right, and then you go to your account, you go to account settings, and then you click API keys. And then you copy the live key, paste it in right here, and hit save config, and you're done. This is Cody. We'll catch you later. Peace.